Hello, everybody. Uh, Daniel Rothamel here again with another screencast of one of my Level Up in Tech projects for my DevOps Bootcamp. And this week, it, the project was uh, creating a DynamoDB table uh, within AWS and then using some Python scripts and JSON data to create and populate that table. Uh, and we're going to do this through Cloud9 on AWS, which is AWS's uh, IDE that allows you to uh, you know, have a terminal and that's connected directly to your AWS account and also run things like Python scripts. Um, so here are the steps for, or here's the objectives, I should say, for the project. Um, so we're going to create a DynamoDB uh, table for my sneakers that has our partition key of name of the brand and a sort key for the name of the sneaker model. So every DynamoDB table has to have a partition key and at least one sort key. So that we're, this is going to be a very simple table. Um, and then we're going to create this uh, table using Python and we're going to use AWS Cloud9. And we can choose any sneaker brand and model that we want. So I'm just going to load in three sneakers and uh, I'll explain that a little bit later here. So what we need to do in order to do this is obviously you have to have an AWS account. Uh, and then when you go to your AWS console, the management console, uh, you can go up here to uh, Cloud9. Cloud9 there, there we go. And then we can create an environment and I'm gonna call this uh, sneaker DB and then level up in tech sneaker database project. Okay. Now it's gonna be a T2 micro so it's free. So Amazon Linux, so we can just keep all these because we just want it to be free. And then we're going to create the environment. Now it's going to take a little bit here uh, to create this environment. Um, so in the, while we're waiting for this, uh, I mean, Cloud9 is pretty cool because it, like I said, it's a contained IDE um, that you can create your uh, or load in uh, Python scripts, JSON data, that type of thing, and then run everything in the terminal on AWS and everything's connected and it's maintained for you it's safe so when you upload files you can come back to it and, and run it so you can have a couple different instances or a bunch of different instances if you need them so cloud9 is pretty cool and we learned a couple weeks ago all about cloud9 we did a, a demo and a tutorial on cloud9 and python uh, through aws so that's where i actually got some of these sample files uh that i edited to get the python scripts and the json data and that type of thing which we'll see in just a little bit and then also, if you want to uh, follow along on the actually see the documentation, I'm going to put this on my GitHub account and also on Medium. So I'll put those links links in the description of this video if you want to you know get the code and that type of thing. Because obviously, if you want to do this, you're going to need the um, you're going to need the code. You're going to need the files and. Now, honestly, that was the most difficult part of this was creating those files because I had to take sample files and alter them. And then when I did that, things got messed up and, you know, some of them didn't work and I got a bunch of errors. So I saved you all the trouble of having to suffer through that with me because that took an hour or two. Um, and I'm just going to upload the final files that I actually created. All right. So here we are in our AWS Cloud 9 environment. So you can see down here we've got a terminal. So if we LS, it'll show me what's in uh, the uh, environment that we're in right now um, and you can see when we do AWS configure list it shows us you can see it's already connected so we don't have to configure uh, the AWS CLI which is nice okay so the first step we're going to do here is we're going to need to create the actual table itself. So if you remember, we're using Python to do this. So I'm going to go back to uh, VS Code here where I have my files already created. Um, and so here is the code for the Python code for the file that will create the DynamoDB database. So the first thing we have to do, obviously, is import Bodo 3. Um, because Bodo 3 is the package, the Python package, 
uh, that AWS that's unique to AWS for using Python on AWS, using Python to do AWS um, commands and stuff and do things within AWS. So, and then once we've loaded Boto 3, um, we're going to use the DynamoDB command to uh, go to Boto 3, and we got to make sure we're in US East 1. All you have to do is make sure that the region here is the same as the region in which your Cloud 9 environment is. I had that problem where somehow my Cloud 9 environment got into a different region when I opened it, and uh, it didn't work right away. It took me a little while to figure that out. Um, and then here's the actual creation of the table. So our table name is going to be Sneakers, and then here's the key schema. So we talked about that partition key and the sort key. So you can see here uh, the attribute name is going to be brand. So that's our actual partition key. And the type of key it is is a hash. Hash is the same thing as partition key, is the same thing as the partition key. Hash was sort of AWS's original name for a partition key. Um, and then the attribute name model is our sort key. So that's the range. So hash and range is the same as partition and sort. And then the uh, we're going to define our attributes here because we have to define those attributes. So brand is a string because it's going to be words. Uh, it's a string. And then at the model is also a string. And this is our provision throughput, which, I mean, we don't really, you know, we're not going to put a bunch of stuff on there. So, but that's our provision. This is sort of the default provision throughput for read and write capacity units. Uh, and then once it's done, we're going to print the table status and tell us whether or not it's been created. So what we need to do is load this file into our uh, Cloud9 account, or into the Cloud9 environment. So we'll go back to Cloud9, and we hit the little plus up here for a new file, and then we can go back. There we go. Now we need to copy all this. Paste it in. And we need to save this. So we save that. Okay, so now we've saved our Python file within our ID environment. So if we go down here to the turn, we can click run just to test it and it will test it. Oh, we didn't load Boto 3 into our terminal. We gotta do that, forgot about that. All right, so to load Boto 3, we gotta, oh, there we go. We got a sudo hit install boto3 all right so now it's in okay so now if we uh, run the file it should work so let's do python sneaker table dot pi because that's the file that we have so let's hope it works ah I forgot, I read a thing somewhere that said you can't use sudo to uh, install Boto3 or it won't work. So, hold on, now let's do it again. All right, there we go. Now we've created the, uh, the actual table. Um, yeah, that's one of those weird things. The AWS documentation tells you to use sudo pip install Boto3, but when you do that, it, it doesn't recognize it. It's really weird. Okay, so our table now is created. And if we want to make sure that it's created, uh, we can go into, we can, uh, we can go into uh, our AWS account. We can go back to the management console. And if we go to DynamoDB. We can look at our tables and see that it's there, sneakers. Now, I think we can do this from the terminal too. 
I believe the command is dynamo db list tables. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, I don't remember the exact command. Oh, no, no I thought that was, oh, that's right. AWS dynamo db list tables. There we go. I forgot the AWS at the beginning. Um, so you can see the table name and sneakers. All right, so now that's in there. So the next thing we need to do is load our JSON data for the actual uh, table. So let's go back to Visual VS Code here. And here is my sneaker data in a JSON file. So I just did three sneakers. I chose uh, Nike as my brand. And then I chose uh, my three favorite pairs of Nikes, uh, the Nike Air Jordan 11 and the Concords. Those are my all time favorite Nikes. I never owned a pair, but man, when I was younger, I wanted a pair so bad. Anyway, uh, another, the Nike Air Force One and the Nike Air, that's just a classic Nike. Everybody loves the Air Force One. Perhaps their greatest shoe of all time. Um, and the Nike Air Yeezy One. And I put that one in there because that's a very unique shoe. I actually know someone that has a pair of the Air Yeezy ones, the first uh, shoe from Kanye. Uh, but this is a JSON table. So you can see we have brand and model because remember that that was our partition key and our sort key and then the data that's in there. Okay, so we need to load this. So let's take that. We'll copy it and we'll go back. And we'll do a new file and we paste it in. Now we need to save it and we'll call it sneaker, sneaker data.json. Save. All right, so now that's in there. Okay, so we have the data, our table's created, we have the data, now we need the script to load the data. So we'll go back. And here's our script to load the data. So what this does is you can see it imports Boto3. Again, we go back to Boto3. And now within DynamoDB uh, and our region, then we have to go back to the table that we created. Uh, and then we it's going to open our JSON file here. And then for every sneaker in the file, in the table, it's going to have the brand and the model. And then it's going to load that data in and then it's going to print adding the sneakers onto the terminal and uh, it will put those items onto the table. So if we've done everything correctly, and I think that we have, uh, when we go back, we need a new file, paste it in. And then what do we call this? I forget. I think we called this load sneakers. Yep, load sneakers.py. So we're going to save this. Save that. All right. So when we come down here to the terminal, if we do Python load sneakers.py, it should put the data in our table. And it did. It was successful. So again, if we want to check that, uh, we can go back to our table here. And we can go to the sneaker table. And we can check the items. And there they are. There's our items in our table. So we did it. It was successful. Woohoo! Um, so that's how you can create, you can use Python and JSON to create a DynamoDB table and populate it. Obviously, if, if you want to download the code for these things, it'll be in the description. Like I said, you can get it on my GitHub uh, and also check it out on Medium. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun creating it. This was a lot of work. This was the most difficult project I've done so far. And uh, it taught me a lot about Python, uh, working in Python and working in JSON. And it was cool to get, you know, the output in the DynamoDB table. So thanks a lot. And I'll see you uh, when I do my next screencast for another Level Up in te Tech project. Everybody, take it easy.